Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to edit a photo when it comes to beginners. So in case you're a beginner out there and you want to learn how to edit a photo and how to color grade and get the best colors out of your photos, this is the best video for you. So simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe in case you're watching and you aren't subscribed to this channel. So after importing the image right here, we're in Capture One. And the reason that's why we are using Capture One for this kind of video or for this kind of tutorial, you can see that the makeup on the subject is a little bit different from the rest of the skin. So just want to fix this within Capture One. And later on, we shall do the skin retouching within Photoshop. So I'm just going to show you how we can fix this and get matching or even skin color or skin tones for this subject. So in Capture One, you're just going to do the usual adjustments like correcting the highlights and correcting the whites. And you're just going to add some contrast into the image and come to our levels and pull the blacks in just like that and pull the whites in too and after doing that we're just going to come to our masking options right here and simply select the body skin and face skin and click on create mask so what this is going to do it is going to help us select the skin of the subject once the skin has been selected we shall scroll down to our color editor and get to the skin tone tool Get the color picker tool and simply zoom in by using Ctrl plus one or command plus on the keyboard and sample on a good area on the subjective skin. So we want to use this area as a sample point. Command minus to zoom out and come to our uniformity slider and move up the uniformity slider like that. And also do the same for the hue and saturation so that the skin can look a little bit better. And you're just going to come and intensify on the saturation of this very subject. And as soon as you do that, you can see the skin is now going to be a little bit better. And the skin color is going to be uniform in this case. Once you're done doing these simple adjustments, you can, can, you can even play around with the hue values to see what works best for you. So about this point, that is okay. And let's look at the before and after. You can see before, after, before, after. You can even zoom in and see the big difference. You can see the image before, you can see the makeup, and you can see the after. After doing this, let's import the image into Photoshop for us to do the next adjustments like the skin retouching, dodging and burning, and other adjustments. So just come to image, come to edit with, and simply come to Adobe Photoshop 2025. I prefer the format to TIFF, 16 bit, 300 pixels per inch, and I'll come to edit variants in order to edit the image into photoshop so right now we are in photoshop and in photoshop basically what we want to do we want to do the skin retouching using frequency separation remember frequency separation divides the image into the colors and the textures so just come to the background image and create two copies from the background image by pressing ctrl j twice you can simply drag and drop on a new layer icon to create two copies out of the background image rename this to color and rename, rename the most top most layer to texture and after renaming these two layers simply come to the color layer turn off the texture layer come to filter and come to blur and come to gaussian blur take the rear slider all the way down and you click on an area that you feel has more skin textures or skin details than the rest of the skin and blur all those details so simply click on the radius slider and move that forward and stop at the point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin textures or the skin details in the image. So at about 7, that is when I'm just starting to lose out on the skin details. I'll click OK, come the texture layer right here and simply turn it on. And after turning on the texture layer, simply come to Image, Apply Image. So it is going to open up this Apply Image window. The source is basically the name of the photo that we are trying to edit. Under Layer, select the color layer. Channel has to be set to RGB. Under blending, select add and simply turn on the invert option. The scale is to offset zero. Opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask are not checked because we are using a 16-bit image and click OK. Come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light. Select both layers by holding down Ctrl or Command, then press Ctrl G, or you can use Command G on the keyboard to group these layers. You can rename this to frequency separation. After renaming the frequency separation group, simply click on the drop down arrow to open up the frequency separation group and select the color layer. Once you have selected the color layer, simply come and turn off the texture layer. The reason for doing this is because we want to blend the skin tones without having any kind of distractions from the texture. So select the color layer 
and briefly turn off the texture layer. Then you're going to come to the brushes and get the mixer brush tool. And after selecting the mixer brush tool, simply come and make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft round brush is selected and make sure clean brush is selected. Then make sure the second option that is clean brush after each stroke is selected. The weight is 9%, the load is 75%, the mix is 90% and the flow is 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on or is not checked. So after doing this, simply start bl blending the skin color or the skin tone. So how do we blend? We make sure that the size of the brush is slightly small enough to mix a given color. So how to mix? Simply click and hold down and you move the brush and blend the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone and the shadows alone. Blend the dark colors alone in a given area, the bright colors alone and the medium colors alone. And where those colors are transitioning from one color to another, just use a very small brush to blend those surrounding areas to blend them together and create a nice and beautiful transition between those colors. So I'm just going to blend right there. When it comes to this area, I'm just going to blend like that. And you have to follow the way or the direction of how a given area is shaped so that you can keep and maintain the original shape of the model's facial structure or body structure. So this is what we have to do for the rest of the areas that have or contain skin color or skin tones on the subject's face. You can see for the nose, we have to move this in this kind of up and down kind of direction to keep and maintain the original shape of the subject's nose. So for those areas where the makeup was not blending quite well, just use the mixer brush tool to try to blend that transition between those colors and you blend or you try to create even skin color transitions between those areas. So I'm just going to do this for the rest of the areas like the neck and every single area that has the body or the skin displaying in this very image. So I'll take my time while doing this. And by the way, as you're doing all this, Make sure you don't zoom all the way in. So to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool, you can use the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard to increase or reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool accordingly. So as you're using the mixer brush tool, make sure that you, you don't zoom all the way in. Make sure you don't zoom in. Retouch at a distance. And in this way, you can see the uneven skin color transitions. And by the way, you can as well work with the texture layer turned on so that you can see well, in case you can't use the mixer brush tool technique with the texture layer hidden. So you can as well work with it turned on. So once you're done blending the skin using the mixer brush tool, you can now come and see the result. You can say before, after, before, after. So right now for the first step, we were trying to work on the skin tones or the skin color of the subject. So for the next step, we just want to remove the pimples and blemishes using the clone stamp tool and remember pimples and blemishes are part of the texture so simply come and select the texture layer and with it turned on make sure it is turned on or selected then simply come and get the clone stamp tool and for the settings make sure the hardness is set to zero soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal opacity and the flat 100 percent aligned is checked and the sample is set to current layer because you want to remove pimples and blemishes that are part of the currently selected layer, which is the texture layer in our frequency separation. So after doing that, we're just going to zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard. We can use Command plus on the keyboard. So to remove a pimple, simply reduce on the size of the clone stamp tool by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So to reduce on the size, use the open square bracket keys on the keyboard and to increase on the size, you have to use the close square bracket keys on the keyboard. So make sure it is slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that you want to remove. So hold on the option key on the keyboard and click on the clean area near the pimple or the blemish and release the option key on the keyboard and simply click once again over the pimple or over the blemish to cover or to remove the pimple from a given area on the skin. So I'm just going to be doing this for the rest of the pimples and the blemishes all over the subjective skin. So I'm just going to do this quickly so that the tutorial isn't the usual long tutorial. So I'm just going to come to the lower part of the body and try to remove any visible skin imperfections regarding the textures and any kinds of blemishes from the subjective body or from her skin. Command zero or you can use control zero to 
zoom out and control plus to zoom in so i'll just try to eliminate all these pimples and blemishes from the model skin command zero so you can see the before and after for the skin retouching process and by the way you can as well create shape or dimension by dodging and burning so dodge and burn you're just going to be using a simple technique that is simply drawing lines over the subject's body to enhance the highlights and the shadows so come to adjustments and come to the curves adjustment layer then click in the middle and drag up to brighten up the image slightly with this white layer mask selected press ctrl i on the keyboard or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect then do the same for the darkening process and click in the middle and drag that down to darken the image slightly press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect then simply come and select the brush tool the normal brush tool and for your settings make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches first of all by clicking on the tiny swatches then for your settings make sure the soft round brush is selected hardness set to zero the mode is set to normal opacity at 100 percent flow at 100 percent and with that done simply come first of all remember this was about we first of all brightened so with this you can rename this to dodge and you can rename this topmost layer to burn and after renaming these two layers come to the dodge layer remember the dodge is for the brightening process simply draw lines over the areas that you want to enhance that you want to brighten up so you can see just draw simple lines and do the same for the dark areas so just come and do the same for the dark areas so for the nose simply draw like that over those dark areas that you feel should have been dark in the image so you can now come and even do this for the chin so for the effect to blend well into the image simply come to the feathering make sure you are in the mask properties and simply move the feathering forward and in that way the effect is going to blend into the skin and do the same for the burn click on this layer mask and simply move this forward and the effect is going to blend well or better into the skin so in case the effect is too much in a given area you can see before and after for the burning before and after for the dodging you can come and reduce on the opacity for example for the dodge reduce on the opacity or reduce on the effect and this is okay you can even put this to in a group and press ctrl g or you can use command g on the keyboard you can say before and after and reduce on the overall before and after for the dodging and burning you can say before after and finally let's save this very image so in order to save the image, simply come to File, Export, and come to Export As. And it's going to open up this Export As window. Under the file settings, make sure it is set to JPEG. Quality set the maximum, which is 7. Under Resample, make sure the Resample is set to by Cubic Sharper. And scroll down to where you see the color space. Make sure the color space is set to Convert to sRGB and Embed Color Profile have been checked. And click on Export, and you can choose where you want to save or export the edited image and simply click on save so this is how you can simply edit a photo in photoshop from the very start the very end i hope you have enjoyed this very video ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget keep practicing and as well keep creating